What's up, everybody? Here is episode 7 of Smack Talk here at SmartOutMoment.com. Of course, I am Anthony Mango, your host. With me, ah, the same old bastards. I'm not giving you another introduction. You've got six introductions already. <laughs> you know what, Tony? Yeah, I'm just going to say this now to you. I love you, man. Just just for that, uh, just that introduction. I love you, too. I'm, I'm Michael you. Burhan, by the way. Just, just thought everyone should know that. <laughs> This is Chris Bates from the lousy, lousy, lousy city of Montreal. Ooh. You poker invested. He's bastard. trying to heal this night. <laughs> Damn straight. Montreal's pissed at that comment and they're uh, <laughs> fucking up with his Skype connection. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Qua, Canada. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see, what's on the schedule for today? A couple bullshit things. Oh, you know what, by the way, I'm going to start off uh, mentioning... We are recording this on Wednesday night instead of the usual right after SmackDown. So if anything crazy happens on Thursday or Friday, don't hold me to it. Uh, we got a busy day Friday. We'll so blame Tony. We'll Everybody blame will. Tony because of it. Even if something doesn't happen, somebody's going to blame me out there. <laughs> That's how it goes. WWE's going to run out of ideas. If something goes wrong in your house, blame Tony. <laughs> yeah, WWE runs out of ideas because we didn't mention anything. <laughs> uh... Other thing I want to pitch right now is uh, for those who haven't yet, and there's quite a bit of people who haven't, um, make sure you send me your choices for the best and worst of 2011 awards. I still have a couple awards left. Uh, I think around the 20th is when I'm going to run out of awards to keep posting, but we will have that video when we record it. We will be doing some other stuff with that so send me all of your choices for the best and worst of all those categories and i'll get back to calculating the votes and everything um start us off today with uh, another attempt to break me with another ask him what do you think yep I, I think we should do that and i've got a nice little doozy for you and uh we also figured out what the sacrifice that tanu has to make if he loses and that is, but he has to watch a two-hour episode of TNA. Oh, oh damn it. And he also has to sing Robert Roode's Off the Chain tune. <laughs> well, you got to learn the lyrics. Okay. It's got to be an easy one, please. <laughs> this time I've picked a doozy. So um, the question is, who has left the WWE and came back on five different occasions and has only won one tag team title. And the dirty thing about this is he liked he liked to dress like a sexual being. Think about it. Only won a tag team title? Only won a tag team title. He has been to WCW as well. I'm not going to mention his name, otherwise you're just going to get it. <laughs> and he has been in the main event. Oh, well, there goes my Chuck Palumbo guess. Uh, I don't even think he won a tag team title now. I don't think about it. If he did, he won it with Billy and Chuck. Um, yeah, he, yeah, he won one with Billy and Chuck. But it's not Chuck Palumbo. Nah, because he's not a main eventer. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll add another little bit of flavor into it. He was around in the late 80s, 90s. This is gonna be one of those things that's on the tip of my tongue, and I I don't want to watch TNA. <laughs> and he, gives up he, my he held the tag team titles under the three bird rule, but it wasn't acknowledged. Uh, this is gonna be one of those things I'm gonna kill myself for. If I hot tag uh, Dace into it, can he answer for me? And I don't have to watch TNA. <laughs> I'm not 100 percent sure on the answer, but I have a I have an idea who I think it might be. I'm completely at a loss. Who is it? Oh, wait, take a it guess. It is. Uh, he ta- he thinking... teamed. He teamed first with Demolition. Oh, Crush. Yep. Ah, uh, man. I and he had a few of the Macho Man Randy Savage. So. Wait, who did he win the tag team title with? <clears throat> Demolition. Demolition. Huh. He was the third that. man in the group, believe it or not, with Axe and Smash. Yeah, I remember Axe Smash and then Crush, because I always thought it was kind of weird. Because he went from, like, yeah. a Hawaiian guy to, like, Demolition. 
yeah, he was literally um, part of the team. He was the third man, and they they apparently couldn't t- tell the like three of them apart. And they always used to dress like they were in an S and M club. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, spoiler alert for TNA this week, Tony. It's gonna suck. So uh, <laughs> best of luck with that. <laughs> Is that next a spoiler week, alert for every week? Next week we're gonna we're gonna do something even worse. So if you don't get next week's one, uh, we'll I'm do not, something worse here. Like, but again, you're now one and zero. Oh. No, 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 one, one and one. One, 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 one and one. Damn. So you're one and one, Tony. Hmm. Well, I'm not looking forward to the uh, backstage <laughs> segment where the cameraman sneaks in front of the door and you don't see him, and Eric Bischoff yells at somebody. Ooh. You know, he's literally watching someone get undressed. You know, that that's the reason why he's at the door. <laughs> he's hoping to catch a knockout, get undressed. Uh, let's see. Where, all over it. <laughs> where can we go from here? You want to go right from uh, bad things in TNA right to uh, talking about the TNA pay-per-view that's coming up? Final resolution. Uh, oh, shit. They got a pay-per-view? Yeah. <laughs> the only thing that interests me about that pay-per-view is... The Iron Man match. Because, you know, it's gonna I don't be mind watching an hour of AJ Styles wrestle. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be off the chain. <laughs> exactly. Uh, who is it? It's the Bobby Roode AJ Styles match. It's an Iron Man match now? Yeah, they've got also uh, Mr. Concussion versus Mr. I Can't Wrestle at the moment because my legs busted. So you've got two injured guys who are supposed to work a match together. Gonna bring That's this up with, uh, uh, with Kurt you. Angle and... Um, James Storm. <laughs> Which I don't understand why they booked that. Apparently that's not listed on Wikipedia, the most trustworthy of all sources. Oh, of course. <laughs> uh, let's see, we got the Bobby Roode versus AJ Styles 30-minute Iron Man match. Um, I don't know, I always do blind predictions on these things. I tend to get most of them right. Uh, I would say Roode. I would say Roode. Um, I would go with Roode as well. Gail Kim oh. and Mickey James... Uh, Gail's probably going to kill him. Yeah. Jeff Hardy against Jeff Jarrett. Uh, Hardy. Wait a minute, we got stipulations here? If Hardy wins, he'll be the number one contender for the TNA world title. If Jarrett wins, Hardy must leave TNA. Oh, come on. Obviously Hardy wins that. Because he's not going to leave. <laughs> no. And You know we all want him to leave. And once is the he on? thing is over with, then they need somebody else, and that'll work. Is he on the next preview poster? Uh, no, yeah. it's... Uh, Bobby Roode. Oh, wait, no. Is, uh... No, the one after. Oh, I don't know. I. Yeah, it's got Hardy in his weird face. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, spoiler alert! Again. Right. <laughs> yeah. Still sucks. Uh, Crimson and Matt Morgan. Oh, yeah, they're the tag team champs now for some reason. Against Because uh, they can't find any other teams. And the Pope. All right, well, Crimson and Matt Morgan win. Uh... And Pope turns heel, then... Yeah. Yeah, about him for another year. Austin Aries defends the title against Kid Cash. Austin Aries is going to win that. I'm kind of looking forward to that. I want to actually want Kid Cash to win because he's actually a good worker. If you've seen the classic matches he had in TNA with Styles, it was amazing. Nope, I haven't seen him. <laughs> and Robbie E. I like Robbie E. against Eric Young. I'm going to go with Robbie E. on that one. Robbie E.'s like a poor man's Zack Ryder. You can't even woo Ryder. Right. The only thing that makes him different is the fact that he's got Rob Terry standing there next to him. Is Another that, guy uh, who looks like he's one injury away from just kicking the bucket. Is Becky Bayless still with him? Who? She played a uh, yeah. cookie because it was like I couldn't think of anything worse than cookie. Oh, you mean with Robbie E? Yeah. Um, no, they fired her. Huh. What do I? Because she's useless. All right, well, there's TNA Final Resolution. That's all the TNA talk for tonight. Uh, I'll be covering that on the website. Check out the results. Uh, I always do the live results, even though it is TNA, because, hey, there's TNA fans out there. They might be interested. And I'm always willing for them to prove me wrong and have a good pay-per-view, and I hope that this is the case. So uh, I will be doing the live results, as always, with the live review. And... uh, Check that out on Sunday. For the next part, we're going to talk a little bit about pageants and DUIs. Hmm. I wonder who that might be. Stay tuned.